I'm Charles, and I'm on a mission to find what's inside everything. To help me get my answers, I have an industrial CT scan. It takes a whole bunch of x-ray images from all around a subject, and then builds a 3D model revealing every internal detail. Today, we're looking inside of a ratchet, or a socket wrench handle. This has the interesting property of being entirely made out of steel, so we'll put the scanner into single material mode and let it scan for as long as we can get away with. You've probably seen one of these before. In fact, you probably have one in your garage, at least in your dad's garage. It lets you tighten or loosen a fastener by hand, and then you can flip this little lever on the back, and then do it in reverse. I want to see what makes it tick. Okie dokie. Let's take this thing for a spin. This is a 3 8 inch ratchet, and um, I have no idea if we're going to be able to see through it or not. I never want to turn down the challenge. So let's sort out the ratchet first. As we sweep in here with the plane, we start immediately seeing that we have a bore in the end of the actual handle. And that bore has ratchet teeth on the inside of it. As you back drive this ratchet, this entire inner piece is actually going to be rotating in that bore. And as it does so, these ratchet teeth are going to skip, 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 skip. And each one of those skips gives you a nice click. As that ratchet pull lifts up, drops down, lifts up, drops down, lifts up, drops down. That's where the noise comes from and that's where the action comes from. Then when you try and actually crank against something, those poles aren't gonna lift up and snap over. No, they're gonna dig in. They're gonna dig in harder and harder and actually allow you to deliver torque through this joint. So I'm noticing that the ratchet pawl is symmetric. It could be as simple as having a spring that's in a face-centered pocket here and a face-centered pocket in this crescent-shaped piece. That would actually produce the writing torque on the pawl. And if you twisted this crescent, which would happen about the same axis as the rest of the rotating piece, you know, that one, it would actually swing the ratchet pole back out and over, it's sort of over center mechanism. So now let's sort out the next mystery. How do we eject our sockets? Well, to find that, I think we're gonna need to look at a different perspective. Hey, okay, cool, we found our balls. So here's what we've got. This is our happy little detent ball. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bite into the little groove that's cut in the inside of this square. That actually does our holding. But why does it actually stay put? Well, that ball is actually pushed outward by this shaft right here. Now this shaft looks a little funky. And the reason it looks a little funky is because it has a groove cut in it right on back here. When that groove is forward underneath the ball, the ball can freely float in and out. But when this groove isn't underneath it, the ball is sprung out by the motion of the shaft. Well, this shaft actually continues all the way out to this plate. And this plate is the back cap. So if we push on this back plate, it extends that shaft. If we push on that shaft, it'll actually move the plate back out on us. So that is what releases and extends the ball. And by extension, allows your socket on and off. And with that, I don't think there's any mysteries left in this thing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like. And if you want to see inside of something, leave a comment with your suggestion. If you want to support the channel, share this video with a friend or check out hacksmith.store. And if you want to see inside of everything, get subscribed.